Welcome to Zimitzav Torah. This year is entitled Daf Yomi Babatra Kuf Ayin Vav, the last Daf of Baba Batra. Mazel Tov to everyone who's finishing up Baba Batra. And the very last Daf is talking about an Arev. And the question comes up, and this unfortunately happens, and people don't realize what they are getting into. A person goes ahead, he signs. A friend they asks him, saying, listen, just taking a loan out, everything's going to be fine. It's for two months. And I'm going to pay back the 10,000 check alone. I just need a bit of a shortfall with the money right now. I don't have cash, but uh, don't worry, I'm going to pay back. But I, in order to take the loan, I need for you to sign on it. And he has Reuben, he has Shimon, he has Levi. Three people sign on the loan, just like the Gamach, the lending agency, asked to do and demanded. And that's it. Three months later, the Gamach calls up. Ruvain says, Ruvain, 10,000 shekel, please. The borrower, we wrote clearly that the borrower, uh, we could go right after the arrave, the lender, the co-signer. We wrote it in. The Kuvain Tchila, just like it says in the Shulchan Aruch, in Kuf Chavteh, Choshe Mishpat Yudalit, and we're coming to you for the 10,000 shekel. He says, wait, hold on a second. I understand that you're able to skip right over the bar. And you asked him, he said he doesn't have it, and he can come right to me, but you mean it's a 10,000 check loan, and then me and the other two, we all have to split it. There's three co-signers, each of us pays 3,000 something. He said, no, nah, we're sorry, we asked the other two also to each pay 3,000, and they're not uh, coming out the money so quick. 10,000 check, oh, please. The bottom line is, when a person co-signs, it's quite possible he is signing total liability. He might think, I'm signing for a third of the loan. The loan was 10000 so I have a third of it. That's what I'm thinking about myself. No. You are signing responsibility for all of it, and the other one for all of it, the other one for all of it. Hopefully, if the borrower will pay back, and hopefully that doesn't happen, the three of you will split it. But you should look at the fine lines, what's written, because it's very possible that you will be liable for the full loan. And that they're going after each one of you, and they could get each one. And sometimes the Gemach will say, listen, we don't know the other two so well. We know you. We know you're good for the money, and we're relying on you. Get the other to pay as well? Great. If not, we're going to get it all from you. A person who really must do chesed with Chacham. He wants to be a co-signer. Beautiful. Know the contract. Read it through and understand it. Shalom.